He stood before me that one night, perhaps it was a vision. Dressed like Chaos Knight, our team's number one position. I rolled as if to go back to sleep, but he boomed imperiously. Don't right-click that creep! Take this game more seriously! With this phantom trying to set me right, I realised I'd be getting no sleep tonight. So, there I am, sat up in bed, and, well, I'll do my best to convey what he said. Tonight, count them, three illusions will visit on steeds, and together we'll see the outcome of your wicked deeds. Until the hours of morning and the burning rays of light, we hope you heed our warning that this sets you right. But hark, the next rider is here. Relax, there is nothing to fear. I'm sure you'll be just fine. The first is but a glimpse back in time. Then, with a low, sad moan, the phantom dropped through the floor, leaving me in bed, alone, before I heard the knocking at my door. He didn't wait for me to bid enter, but rushed in without warning. Then, lightning, with me at the centre, the truth now dawning. As I rubbed the sleep from my eyes, it still came as a bit of a surprise. Back you go! He laughed as I began to unravel, scattered backwards via his arcane time travel. I awoke to see my younger self, sat at my old workstation, playing in lane, with no health, nor means of regeneration. Fortunately, I could offer him help, as now I'm much wiser and older, but I let out a loud yelp as my hand passed clean through his shoulder. Disruptor, now behind me, let out a laugh as he conjured up the golden experience graph. There's no need to make such a fuss. Your past self can neither see nor hear us. So I guess you know I'm the spirit of Dota past, and I'm armed with all your data. That shows how you worked on farming skills last, but that won't hurt till much later. You settled on playing support years ago, and it's really such a shame how you put limits on your options and, so, missed out on half the game. But look here, your CS isn't measured in zeros, and you would pick any of these heroes. See, you picked Sven, and while you didn't take stun, at the very least you were playing this game for fun. But, but look how they're all hurling abuse, pointing to the screen I began. For a skill build that's entirely obtuse and no real item buying plan. I've got half a BKB and no gold. My bought two boots are crying out loud. I don't want to sound bold, but I think most of those insults are actually allowed. So what? Disruptor let out a cry. You didn't know what to buy, and now you've done yourself harm by so early for swearing off the idea of farm. Now feeling quite jaded, the vision ended and I was back, safe in bed, the memories already faded and forgetfulness gnawing on the words that were said. It was only then I noticed a second ghost, curled up in a fetal position, sniffling by the corner of my bedpost in a frightful condition. Eh? What's that you say? No, Sonny, this can't wait till another day. He spoke creakily, rising slow. A questing? A questing we shall go! I think I'm the ghost of Dota present, so let's watch your last game as a team. The old man sounded quite pleasant, so I switched on my computer, loaded up Steam. A minute in and I'm playing Keeper of the Light, the lane's getting blasted by my Illuminate. Then, sure as day follows night, I'm on the receiving end of a torrent of hate. Hmm. He spoke after a pause. Ah yes, there. That's the cause. I may be old and a bit thick, but you are being a total dick. It was there, next to the apparition, in the screen's glow and hindsight. I realised my untenable position, and yes, my team was right. How, how could I lament that my carry was a twat? I spoke through shudders, I groaned and wailed, when it was plainly obvious that my bad behaviour was the reason why he failed. Oh woe, oh woe indeed, please, ghost, mount your steed and leave me alone to grieve. But there's one more visitor left to receive. The ghost, his duty now complete, sighed softly and slowly stood up on his unsteady feet and turning pulled up his white hood. Adjusting his cloak and beard he opened the door and then, it was just as I feared, for in my hallway stood Chen. Cease your pitiful grieving, it is time that we were leaving, nowhere to hide, nowhere to run, I am the ghost of Dota to come. Persuaded wholly, no will of my own, I'd lost all control of my body as Chen dragged me through my home and out roughly downstairs to the lobby. There, in the cold night, snow falling thick, Chen grabbed my head and forced open my eyes. Behold the terrible price of being a dick! The mounted priest boldly cries. I see a thousand windows lit by laughter and the warmth that comes with it. But there's one window that's almost dark. Yes, said Chen. That's your window, Mark. 
no one on your friends list talks to you now because you complain all the time about never getting to play that space cow, even if you try to hide it in rhyme. Now you're forced to rage madly at bots or play alone in the solo queue rather than with friends, for once you had lots, but now there are very few. What can I do? Is fate amenable to change? Play a carry at melee or range! Ask for position number two, if this isn't the future written for you. I collapsed to my knees, sobbing, sucking in lungfuls of air when I could, until I woke once more, head throbbing, my desk where Chaos Knight once stood. No sign of Keeper's face, worn by years, nor Disruptor's presence, just Chen's words ringing in my ears. And, oh hey, a pile of Christmas presents! What a welcome sight to greet me. It's a joyful wonder on waking to see boxes wrapped in red and green with tags reading from your team. Leaping out from under my covers, I'm propelled, ejected from my room and pushed past the others who are waiting for tea to dispel the morning's gloom. Through the office door, I crash, booting the computer with a flick of a wrist and loading up Dota in a flash, I begin to hit up my friends list. Merry Christmas, I type. I had a rough time last night. I must change the future. How? Well, first I must play a safe lane drow. I cannot recall how the game went, or even which team won. See, there's no need to vent. I think the game was quite fun. Because never mind who wins, who loses, how it begins or ends, the most important thing is that it's time spent well with friends. No need to be mean. Be nice to your team. Go play. Don't tarry. Love one another. Support or carry.